Ayrshire is well known for its beautiful scenery as the land of Burns and the home of the open. But did you also know that Ayrshire is home to Scotland's best table tennis club? North Ayrshire Table Tennis Club, established in 2003 and based at St Matthew's Academy in Sulcoast, is currently the top table tennis club in Scotland. Not just that, but they're competing at the highest level of British table tennis. Today, they're hosting Bats Table Tennis Club from Harlow for their latest British Premier League fixture. The British Premier League is the cream of the crop when it comes to like British table tennis. This is the best league, the Premier League. So if you look at football, this is the Premiership, English Premiership. This is at the top. It's a bit of a pyramid system, but this is at the top. This is the British Premier League teams. There's only, I think, seven teams in the league, maybe. Um, eight teams this season. But th this is the top league. This is the top league for British table tennis. You start at the bottom of the league and you work your way up. But we're just fortunate that we've had a lot of homegrown talent, like the boys behind us, who've, who've started at the club and, and worked their way up and just trained and trained and trained and got to a level that they can compete at this level. A lot of the players in the Premier League a lot of clubs are in a, kind of a good financial position where they can they can bring players in from overseas maybe or other clubs but a lot of the boys that play with us or all the boys that play with us are, are homegrown talent so it's, you get both, the best of both worlds in that sense. I think that the whole British League setup where you've got a couple of international ones, so one here playing North Ayrshire and then you've got one in Ormo, uh, or teams called Ormo in Ireland, it's um, fantastic, like, it's nice to get to travel isn't it, it's lovely. A little bit panicked thinking about getting over here because the airport was shut yesterday morning and stuff but now we're here, yeah, looking forward to the match. Win for us, 4-3, let's call it close one. Last year we went down to Vats and uh, we, we beat them 4-3 down there, which was a great result for us and uh, so we could finish in second place. But today they've got uh, two, two top players in England, number seven and number eight in the rankings, uh, which are far higher than ours. But uh, we've got Martin Johnson here playing today who's jumped up in the rankings from 109 to 19. So he'll be ready for this. And uh, we've got Colin Dalwisi, number two for Scotland playing. He hasn't played for a while, but uh, he'll be getting back into it. And also we've got Chris here. So we'll give him a game out, but uh, hopefully if we scrape a, a 4-3 win, that'll do us. It's probably on rankings, it's probably them as favourites. But we are tough to beat at home. We like playing here. Uh, it's going to be close, I think. It's going to, there's a lot of 50-50s, especially you're flipping a coin. And it's, there's about a few points to side in the match, but a good match anyway. We're good. The format for the day is the best of seven matches. Six singles and one doubles match, with each match win counting as a point. The first pair of matches begins, with Martin narrowly losing, but Colin defeating British number 7, Josh. At the doubles match, Martin and Colin pair up and after being down two set points, come back to snatch the first set. That proves critical as they go on to win the match. North Ayrshire is up 2-1.
their lead increases to 3-1 as Martin clinches his match against Josh. But with Joe Ferguson defeating Chris, the score closes in to 3-2. At the final set of games, North Ayrshire just needs one match to seal victory. An exciting match between Chris and Cheyenne ends in victory for Bats, tying the score at 3 all, making the final match between Colin and Joe Ferguson the decider. After some amazing rallies and great shots from both players, this leads to Bats two sets to one up, but Colin is up 9-8 in the fourth, two points from levelling the match and bringing it to a final set. The net core denies him. And then a narrow miss follows. Colin calls time out at match point there. So it was a good day, of course. Uh, it's nice always playing at home in front of friends and family. It's a shame we didn't win, but uh, yeah, it was it was good for everyone, I'm sure. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I just I wish better for the team. I think we deserved more than to lose four three after some of the performances, but I guess on to the next game. So recently, my ranking has uh, gone up in the UK. So. I'm now number one in the team, so yeah, it was it was different for me playing the first few games, and it was difficult. But uh, yeah, I, I won one, lost one. I can't complain too much. I'll take the uh, take the positives away from the loss and see what I can work on in my future. Um, I'm currently playing full time. Hope to be full time for as long as possible, and um, hope that. I I'll just keep working hard and see where it takes me. Although disappointed with a narrow 4-3 defeat, the players and everyone at North Ayrshire Table Tennis Club have shown that they're not just the best club in Scotland, but one of the best in the UK. In fact, whilst we were editing this video, North Ayrshire recorded two wins in two matches down in London, taking them to the top of the British Premier Division for the first time ever. After all this, one question remains. How did North Ayrshire Table Tennis Club end up here? Why is it the best club in Scotland and not one in Glasgow or Edinburgh, even Aberdeen or Dundee? Well, that's maybe one for another video. Thanks for watching. I want to say a huge thanks to Billy Mean and everyone at the North Ayrshire Table Tennis Club for welcoming us along. You can keep up to date with the results on Facebook and Twitter. Their next home match is the 28th of January at St Matthews Academy. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of support there to share the guys on. Thanks for watching.